pieces, more pieces that need to be painted. Gotta get rid of that maroon and fade to black. on the ends I think it's a pretty nice touch got the seats upholstered already got the back seats are in um, but of course I'm gonna have to take them back out to get the uh, to get the seat belts in first so give y'all an idea of what it's gonna look like without all this junk in the way. I'm still out here working, man. So, you know, we got a mess everywhere. Mess everywhere. Door still off on the passenger side. I got this driver's side door back on now. And it closes like it should now. It's a work in progress, man. You just gotta stick with it and trust that process. It ain't overnight, especially when you're doing it on a budget and you're doing a lot of things yourself. I mean, I work every day, so I don't have a lot of time to come out here. Plus I have a family, wife, three kids. So uh, definitely don't have a lot of time but we can get it done. Definitely can do it. Man, I can't wait to get them back seat belts in. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint these parts on the uh, back seat belts first before I send them off. I didn't do that on these. I sent them off and had them rewebbed before I painted this. So this gotta be painted. This has to be painted. So, but you get the idea what it's gonna look like up against that seat. And then the black with the red on the car. And then the black and red on the dash. Uh, I need to do this trim, put the red stripe back on there, and I'm gonna put my red stripe back here as well. So all of it can flow together. All right, we're gonna get to work. Seat belts on their way out. Get rewebbed. They won't be maroon anymore. These are the back seat belts. Painted these up because these were maroon, so I needed to flow. And I wanted my original GM little push button there. But uh, this is the last time we will see these maroon. These things can go and get a little makeover. You know what I'm saying? A little makeover. <laughs> 